just relax. It's a very high practice actually to relax. It's hard. Yes. It's hard. Especially to relax into insecurity. It's hard. I mean, it's one thing to relax into security, but there ain't no security. So give it up. There's nothing, there's no, there's no ice that you can skate on that isn't thin and that will break. You know, we used to, uh, in, I grew up in Minnesota before global warming. And uh, <laughs> we used to have like, the ice grit was so thick that you could drive cars on it. We drive our cars on it and like do donuts on you. Uh, there's no ice like that in life. There's no thick ice like that. You, you drive your car on any ice, uh, you, you, you walk on any ice and you, you know, in life and you can fall through it any time. So just get used to it. You know, this is the realities of things. You know, there's no advantage in ignorance. There's no advantage in being bubble-headed about the realities of life. It really is not. It doesn't help. It just is actually causes more pain when the realities of life show, them to, show themselves to you. And they will, inevitably. You know, like my favorite example of this, you know, many of you have heard it before, but I'll just do one more. Uh, you know, you bring home your new computer, right? Your brand new computer. And you pay two, three thousand dollars for it. And you, you know, you boot it up. And it's like, oh, it's such a nice new computer, you know? Has a really nice graphics, you know, it's so user friendly. Boot it up, boot it up, boot it up. And one day what happens? You, you press the button and it doesn't boot up. And then you go, oh my God, you know, I'm so unhappy. How could this have happened? How could this have possibly happened? My computer doesn't work. You know, well, what did you think? What did you think when you bought the computer? That somehow you had a permanently booting up computer that would always boot up? See? And uh, at some level, we actually do think this. See, uh, this is, this is uh, grasping on to things as if they had permanence. And holding them as like, my computer, my computer will always boot up. My girlfriend will always boot up, <laughs> right? My daughter and son will always boot up. My husband and wife will always boot up. They'll always be there. And then, and then they show you their true nature one time. They're, they were never going to always be there. And then one day they're not there. They don't boot up and you go like, oh, fall to pieces, you see? So a little bit of understanding here goes a long, long way uh, for, for just being a little happier in life. That's just making a little bit of happy, uh, happier, uh, of just relaxing into the impermanence, relaxing into the insecurity. You'll be able to live a happier life. And re-identifying, re-identifying yourself, instead of being a suffering person and always, in, you know, somebody else needs to help you because you're so, you know, in pain all the time, of being a person who's happy. And just start practicing being happy, and, and then you'll be much more able to help other people more because you won't be worried so much about your own happiness all the time. And if you're helping more people more, what does that result in? More happiness. So start, start living, start detaching from the things that are hurting you. See, that's the thing. Detach from the things that are hurting you. For the, detach from the idea that permanent things, that impermanent things are permanent, for example and free yourself from that. And it's, I mean, you know, it's just, just even at that level you'll be happier, of just recognizing the fact that it's all just flow. It's all just flow. This too shall pass. I think somebody said that, uh, maybe some Buddha or somebody from the East. They said, this too shall pass. George Harrison, George Harrison said that. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, both positive and negative. The, everything's just passing through. So what's the point of getting attached to it? It's just like, you know, it's just passing through. So just enjoy it. Enjoy it. You know, what, relax into the insecurity. Remember that? Chogim Trungpa Rinpoche. Like, relax into the insecurity. And just go, you know, what, whatever comes will be fine. Whatever comes, just relax into the, into the flow. And uh, stop clinging onto the idea that you can hold on to things that you can't stop, that you can't hold on to. It's just all flow. You see? You can't stop it. There's no freeze framing. <laughs> it's just all flowing by. So just, you know, it's like um, you have those uh, rubber tubes here. You have inner tubing at all in the, on the Anasquam River or anything like that? Oh, that's so fun to do. You know, you get in the inner tube and just float down the river. Life should be like that. You're in the, the life's inner tube. And you know, just get like a beer and float down the river. <laughs> 
float down the river and with your with your beer and in, in life. That's life. Life is just always moving, just always changing, always moving. So just relax, just chill out, get the pop, pop open a cold one, and uh, just, and just relax and uh, and enjoy the show. And and during the and during the process of enjoying the show, uh, don't forget like why the show appears to you the way it does, why the show is happening the way it does because of the way you've treated others in the past. The show that you see now is an exact reflection of how you've treated others in the past. And there's nothing you can do about changing that in the present. So just float down the river with the cold one. And like, wow, this, this is kind of interesting. Oh, this, this is a very interesting, irritating person that's just being, oh, how interesting that is. He's, he's huh, whatever. And, and then go, <coughs> How could, you know, how could I have an even better show in the future? How could I create an even better show for myself in the future? By, by putting into causes the real, the real causes, by putting into play the real causes for a happy life. Which are, by this point, you should know by rote. Stop worrying about yourself all the time and start worrying about, what about the other guys who are, you know, floating down the river? Do they have cold ones? <laughs> could, I, could I get them a cold one? See? <laughs> you know? Start worrying about all the other ones. floaters, you see? Instead of just like, you're floating. You're floating, you're just floating around with your, with your cold one. What about the others? See, what about them? And then you create the causes for even a better river ride in the future. <laughs>